Sorry for the controversial question, but do you think Johnny Hendricks was on PDs in his prime? He just dropped off after USADA. I mean, no disrespect to Johnny. That's from Mega Rory 19, 15, 1995. Guys, I do think he was on PDs. Yeah, I do. Honestly, like his drop off was so significant. When he fought George, he admitted to being 220 in the octagon. So he made 170. And he went up 50 pounds. That's insane. George was probably 185. The spirit, look, what's the whole point of the weight class? The spirit of the weight class, the point, the whole point of weight class is two guys of the same size are going to fight each other. That's what it's about. Now, guys pipe past the rules. By, guys do all sorts of creative things to try to fight a smaller guy. I want to fight a smaller guy than me. That's me. That's my, that's my legacy. I'm proud of it. I fought a smaller guy than me. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I think the commission should step in and say, look, the spirit of the weight cut should not, the weight in, the weigh in should not be bypassed in any way. We give you rules and parameters to follow, but if you find some tricky way that we didn't think of and it ends up two guys in the cage, one of them bigger than the other, it's not fair. It's not a fair fight. Okay, so what we're trying to say, guys like me who think like me, because I know a lot of people feel this way, you shouldn't do all these tricks and it's just not, there's no honor in this. Yes, if I can lose some fat on my body and give myself an advantage because now I'm carrying more muscle than fat, that's all good, but we're both the same size still. We're still both the same size. Whether you're carrying fat, that was on you. But doing some kind of trick with hormones and HGH, and I'm not saying he did that. I'm saying in general. Okay, I'm, talk I'm not talking about Jen Hendricks right now. I'm talking about in general. I see guys trying to trick the system, and I feel like, do you really want to be the best that way? Is that how you want to be remembered? Oh, I tricked the system so well. I felt... Now I'm talking about Johnny. I felt Johnny did that a bit. You know, like, it's kind of like you're tricking the system so well you have this major advantage. You know, you're fighting a smaller guy. So I think he I think he probably did use PDs. Uh, you know, guys, I was on the call. Oh, here, here's, you guys want to hear an interesting one? This is an interesting one. And I, I like Mike Dolce. He's a good friend. But he said something wrong one time. I heard, I was listening to one of his shows. He said something so wrong, so wrong. I'm going to correct him now. And I do it with all love and respect because I love Mike. But he was so wrong. Okay, I was on the call. On the call, there was UFC. There was me. There was George St. Pierre's management. And there was Johnny Hendricks' management. No fighter was on the line. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of the call because it's privileged information. And I don't know if I can get in trouble for it. But Johnny Hendricks, in an interview, said he would do testing. Now, this is public information. Me and George St. Pierre took it upon ourselves to hire Vada, who's going to independently test both of us, both teams, both camps. And they're going to publish it no matter what the result. No matter what. Even if there's a false positive, false whatever, the results will be published and explanation soon to come. That's it. That was That's the rule. And they don't care. No matter what. Even if the test is inconclusive, they're going to publish it. That was music to our ears. Now, here's the thing. We got on the call and the UFC didn't want to use this group. They wanted to use another group. Okay, they wanted to use the Nevada State. Okay, let's do both testing. Let's make everybody happy. And I offered to pay $10,000 from my own pocket. George will pay one test. I'll pay for the other. There's no money coming out of anybody else's pockets. Of course, you know, George wanted to pay himself. But I offered myself publicly. I, I had done this publicly. I'm only giving you guys the public information. I went on Twitter said, look, you don't want to do this company. You want to do that company. I'll pay for the other company. Let's do both companies. Let's do both. Let's do that. I wanted to make everybody happy. Test us under every test you have under the sun. Let's do it. No, no, no. Now Mike Jochi goes on and he says, no, they wanted to know, they're talking about our camp, what tests would be done. That's totally wrong. Totally wrong. St. Pierre never said one word. St. Pierre wasn't even on the call. Who was on the call? Coach Sabin. What did I say? This is what I said. I said, look, I want you to do random testing, but can we, if there, is there, I'll pay, I'll ready to pay anything. I'm, I'm, guys, I'm just trying to tell them on the call, look, money's not an object. Test us as thoroughly as you feel you need to. What test do you want? Like, how much is the budget you, you need? Okay. And they didn't want us to do it with Vada. So they wanted to do it themselves, no budget. I said, look, we want HGH testing. Because here's the thing, okay? There's 300 banned substances about, okay? It's a little less, but whatever. Maybe they're going to test you for weed. 
Maybe they're going to test you for clamduterol. Maybe they're going to test you for, I don't know, caffeine even. I don't care about these things. How do I know that the test, the guy who's testing is like not thinking in his mind, hey, let me test him for a weed. They don't think Johnny Hunt, like they can test you for whatever they want, but we're not interested in this. So we were, my, I was saying, look, we should test for everything random. Don't tell me what's on the test, but also test the both fighters for HGH, human growth, growth hormones. I want that on every test. Like, can I make the test even harder? Because I don't know what you're going to test for. You might test for Anavar. I don't think the guy's on Anavar. That was my contention. Then they were trying to spin it, and Mike was not on the call, so he might have got some misinformation. But his side was saying, oh, they want to know what's on the test. No, I, I don't want to know what's on the test. I never asked to know what's on the test. And I got a nasty email saying, oh, you guys want to know what's on the test? No, never asked to know what's on the test. Make your test as random as possible. And look, everybody can understand my argument here. Absolutely everybody. It's just that they didn't want to understand it because they didn't want us working with a drug test. Guys, what happened in the end? Ask yourself this. Only George St. Pierre got drug tested. In the end, we paid Vada to test George St. Pierre. TriStar uh, George St. Pierre himself. Listen, he paid a company to test him randomly after having an agreement with Johnny Hendricks that he would do it too publicly. During an interview, Johnny Hendricks said, yes, I will do the, the drug test, any drug testing. Then when we got on the call, no, I won't do VADA. I'll only do what UFC says. Okay, I understand that. You're respecting the UFC. We respect the UFC too. We'll do UFC's test and we'll do VADA test and make sure HGH is on the table. We want, who's asking for the most strict testing now, somebody out there, somebody with a with a degree out there, with a, a logics degree, tell me how I can be asking for a favor here. I'm asking for more scrutiny. Why? Because I know George Ambrose is going to walk in the octagon at 185. I'm thinking, I thought Johnny Hendricks would come in 205. He, he claimed 220, from what I recall. He, came to, he claimed 220, which is insane. So, long story short, we ended up only having George tested. Johnny Hendricks did not keep his word. He said he would take any test, and he did not uh, keep his word. Why didn't he keep his word? You guys tell me. You know, I talked to Mike about this, and he, and he said it publicly, too. He's like, oh, I think he fell off afterwards because he didn't have the motivation. You know, he just wanted to win a world title, and after that, he didn't have the motivation. I don't know. might be true. I, I just don't believe it. I don't buy it. When you have millions of dollars on the line, man, you find that motivation. When you have millions of dollars on the line, you have a title fight. You know, he he, he won the world title. I, I believe it was, uh, was it Johnny? When he fought Johnny Hendricks. Uh, Johnny Hendricks fought Robbie Lawler. Then he lost the world title to Robbie Lawler. They had like a trilogy fight. And you find that motivation. There are millions of dollars. Nobody wants to go down like that. Nobody wants to go up a weight class and miss weight then get stopped and get, nobody wants to fall off like that i don't believe it i personally don't believe it i mean it's not impossible i won't say they're liars i won't say it's untrue that's just mike's take on it mike Dolce's take on it i just that's not my take my take is that i think he was on stuff why wouldn't he take the test just take the test man it doesn't change anything in your life and let them throw in hgh why why spin it as oh they want to know oh they want to know what's on the test no we don't want to know what's on the test it's just such so absurd so absurd. And I know people out there are going to try to spin it. Oh, it's make the test random plus put this on the table. We want to make sure there's no HGH in anybody's system. I, I don't know if I can make it any clearer. 